Let's take a look at both material and color within ZBrush. Now you'll notice up here at the top we have a button called MRGB, another button called RGB, and another one called M. And what this stands for is M being material and RGB being color, red, green, and blue. So let me just paint in a couple of pixels here so that we have something to work with. Now currently you'll notice that the button that is pressed is MRGB, which means that I'm painting both with color and material. Okay, now if we take a look down here at the bottom we see that there is a palette for materials and there's also a palette for colors. Inside our material palette we're going to have several different options that we can work with. All these different materials have different specular properties, different reflective properties, transparency properties, and we'll even talk about creating our own materials later with the matte cap feature inside ZBrush. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and select a material like this chrome material, and then I'll paint onto my surface here. Maybe I'll switch over to a glass material, and then I'll paint with that. Now you'll notice as I paint with this glass material, we get kind of a white tint or no color involved in the glass material at all. And that's because if you notice down here at our color swatch we have white selected. So I'm going to shift this over to green and then now you'll notice this glass material has been tinted into kind of a green look. So many of these materials are going to be affected by the color that you choose in your color picker. And again keep in mind up here we have the MRGB button selected which means we're painting both with material and color. If we were to just move over to material and click that, it doesn't matter what color I select here in my color picker, the material will just take on its own color. Now you notice when I paint, wherever there was green already painted will stay green. That's because that color information will stay put. So let's clear this before it gets too messy. Okay, so now we don't have any color information in our scene, and as I paint with this material, all we're getting is the reflective and transparency and the translucency and the specular properties of this material. We're not getting any color involved at all. Now if I turn off material and just turn on RGB and switch my color maybe over to a blue, you notice that now we're painting blue onto the material we've already worked with. Now as I'm doing this, you're noticing that the pixels that I've already laid down are being deformed. They're getting sculpted. Let's say you just want to paint on something that you've worked with, but you don't want to deform it. That's where this Z add and Z sub come into play. If you turn off Z add by clicking on it, then you're only working with RGB here with this button depressed, which means I can now paint over those pixels without deforming them. If I turn on material and then switch my material to a glass shader. I can then change the shading properties, the material properties of those pixels without deforming them. So you can see by turning off Z add and only working with MRGB, RGB, or M, you can mix between painting materials, painting just colors, or actually deforming the model as you click Z add and then cause elevation to your pixels. So again, I'll clear that one more time. Now if you do go ahead and work with RGB and Z add-on, you'll notice that you're not getting any of that shadowing or any of that elevation. You are building up elevation here, but because there is no material property, you're not really going to see it. Where if I turn on material, turn off Z add, and then paint in the material, now we can see what we've worked with. Now let's say that you're working and painting along here. Let me turn off material and back to RGB. So I'll paint a little yellow up here and a little blue over here. Let's say you want to select the exact color you've used before so that you can duplicate it somewhere else. To do this all you have to do is hover your cursor over that color and then tap the C key. And you notice that my color swatch over here on the left has chosen that color. So I can choose blue, green, or yellow or whatever I have inside my scene. So take a moment to switch between MRGB, RGB, and M, and then turning Z add on and Z sub on so that you can subtract and add, or turning them off so you can just paint with material or just paint with color.